Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. You're going to find out why I'm laughing in less than 10 seconds. Ezugu Chukudi, your favorite political analyst, is here in the studio now. And all I can think about is hoping that I'm going to be able to exit the studio when I finish Hello Nigeria today and I'm not going to be barricaded. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing very well, <laughs> Leila Johnson Salami. Please, I hope you're not here to arrest me. Oh, no, no, no. You are know, you sure? You know, you know, interestingly, yeah. as Nigerians, we celebrate everything mm -hmm. because we try to see what is good in a very difficult situation. Uh -huh. So, for example, like my Yoruba brothers and sisters mm -hmm. will tell you, Eku Joko, as in, you know, felicitating you for yeah. sitting down. Eku Duro, Eku Jadeo, Ekabo, Eku Leo. So, this is exactly one week. Since the yeah, so <laughs> I just decided to since this is for the past one week now. Yeah. This has what this has been the headline in every of our uh, news medium. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to say, Eku. okay, but I'm not blocking anything. But you're not blocking anything. <laughs> yes, I'm not okay. blocking anything. Let's get into the story. The mm -hmm. Department of State Services yesterday said the alleged recovery of some items from the Abuja and Katsina homes of its immediate past uh, director general, Lawal Daura, as shown in some video, is fake. Now, the items are said to be non-existent, including the 21 billion naira that was stated, in cash, 400 assorted and sophisticated small arms, light weapons and rifles, and thousands of permanent voters' cards belonging to Niger Republic immigrants. Spokesman of the DSS, Tony, said, that, said this in a statement in Abuja, sorry. So in the statement, he stated, quote-unquote, Consequently, the service wishes to inform the public that these videos are false and should be disregarded. So far, no such recovery of operations have been undertaken by the EFCC or any other security agency at DSS's office or residences of the former DG. There is no doubt that different interests have continued to give varied accounts of the incident last week at the National Assembly. So from what I'm understanding here, Chukudi, we had some reports about a recovery of 21 billion naira in cash, some weapons, some uh, abandoned PVCs, etc. And now the spokesperson is coming out to say that we should disregard it, and it is false. But I want to hear from my favorite political analyst, Shoot. I think that as Nigerians, we must become very careful because this is the era of fake news. Yeah. And since you have so many mediums on social media, where people, or so many platforms on social media, where people can disseminate information, it is really very easy to receive and send such. In fact, you're just one click away, so long as you have data. Yeah. Now, it is very imperative that, as Nigerians, we understand the commandment of trying to get to the source or the root of every information. What, are, are there, what policies do we have against fake news in Nigeria today? Unfortunately... Those who are supposed to play a critical role in ensuring that we, we curtail the spread of falsehood are also part of the situation. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's easy for you to hear propaganda, 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 or people say PR or publicity stunts. It is most unfortunate. I mean, I recall how, you know, in the past three years of President Mohamed Wari's administration, we used to see videos yeah. where they would say, um, operatives or personnel of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission raided a particular house. We would see videos of, um, you know, cash. We would see vi the evidence is out there in the open. Now, this is not the fault of, or it, we cannot say this, we cannot entirely blame it on the system because we live in a world where, like I said, you're just one click away from putting the information out there. And there are several mediums through which it can reach to millions or tens of millions of people. But what we must do is ensure that we make it really very, very difficult for people who want to circumvent the system. You would recall here that I said it, that it was surprising that the report that the Inspector General of Police wrote to the acting president, Professor Yemi Oshibadio, with respect to this particular incident, there was a video, um, there was a picture uh, uh, recording of it. Now, you begin to ask yourself, who indeed is for us or who are those against us? And what is sad is where you have the DSS that is supposed to be, you know, an elite force. The DSS that is supposed to help us get to the root of this, uh, 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 you know, this deceit, the people that are spreading this falsehood, and leap them in the board, coming after maybe three or four days. Or, because the video went viral, 
And it got a lot of people speaking about the situation. This is my And to issue. a considerable degree, it would have even maligned the personality of the man, even though at this moment, he's just a suspect. And this is exactly what my issue is, because fake news breeds so much. We're in very sensitive and fragile times right now here in Nigeria, and we need to be extremely careful, and we need to keep ourselves aware. Not everything that you see on the internet is true. And you can do yourself a favor and do people around you a favor by looking at something and verifying its source before you actually take it as true news. Because true. this is becoming so common to I mean, it's, it's... I hope we just don't get to a point like Tanzania that have now put several bans on their journalists. And we need to understand that, you know, there are several countries in the world that have had to deal with the extreme cases or outcome mm. because of fake news and how people, you know, through deceit, malign other people and spread false information. We have the National Orientation Agency, yeah. please. The National Orientation Agency should become alive to its responsibility and go out and enlighten Let's people. Let's speak on the responsibility of the National Orientation um, Agency. In one sentence, Chukudi, let's let our viewers know, what is the NOA supposed to be doing? National, nationwide, orientation, teaching people, agency, government agency. It's really very simple. Do we need to explain to the NOA what they are supposed to do? You're supposed to go on or you're supposed to embark on nationwide campaigns correcting a lot of misconceptions and perceptions yeah. and letting the people know how to choose right from wrong. It's really very simple to know when a news is fake. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you open your, your WhatsApp um, chat and you see, good, you see, hello, I'm Jesus. I'm sending you this message. <laughs> have, you, have you prayed to me today? If you believe in me, send it to 50 what people. What phone is Jesus using? What phone number? Which <laughs> network? So it is really very, very easy that yeah. we are logical in our reasoning. Sometimes you see, Wale Shoinka said this. Nigeria is this, this, that. And you begin to say, please, quote your source. If people are not able to quote their sources, Just disregard then it's a problem. It completely. Yeah. If people are not able... I mean, there are certain... The reason why we have certain media platforms that have existed for a very long time is because of their integrity and credibility. If we cannot trace the source of your information and critically assess how they got the evidence or the facts, then we must begin to, you know, get rid of these people. So as Nigerians, we should know that politicians who want to take advantage of a situation. When I saw the video at first, you know, people were spreading and sharing it. I said it is really very, very important that we listen to all the sides of the story and critically as a people. That's the reason why we have common sense, even though it's no longer common. Critically assess these stories. And the reason, it will appear like, you know, on the part of those that are supposed to be ahead, we are somewhat slow. And that is why falsehood and deceit yeah. will continue to spread. But as Nigerians, we must owe it as a sense of responsibility to teach ourselves. Absolutely. I couldn't have said it better. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.